Alright, so you guys know how difficult it is to look for a photo of a particular person or generally any kind of photo when you've got thousands of photos in the gallery. But fortunately, you can tap here on the search icon and you'll see that the Samsung gallery is smart enough to detect the faces of everyone from the photos in your gallery. And you can tap on any one of them to see the photos they are in. So this is gonna make searching for photos of people super easy. The phone also keeps a track of the type of photos and videos you've got. So with one tap, you can check out all your selfies, your slow motion videos, hyperlapses, etc, etc. And if you scroll down and tap on things slash scenery, you'll notice that all your photos have been properly categorized. So tapping on flowers is going to show us photos and videos that contains photos of flowers. Hats is going to have pictures of people wearing a hat. Buildings is going to contain pictures of buildings and you've got pictures of skies, electronic gadgets and so on and so forth. So these categories are going to make searching for photos and videos super easy. Now the gallery is also integrated into the main search engine of the phone which you can find by opening up the app drawer and tapping here. And because of the gallery integration you can also search for your photos using this. So if we type dogs, the phone is going to show us pictures of dogs in the gallery. And if you want to be more specific, you can search for a particular breed. Like if you type golden retriever, it's going to show us pictures of golden retrievers. And if I type beagle, it's going to show us pictures of beagles that are in the gallery. That is awesome, isn't it? Now, one more awesome thing that you can do is search for text in your photos. So let's search for the word Sims and the phone is going to show us pictures that contains the word Sims in it. And there you go. Look, the word Sims is right there. So this is going to make searching for documents super easy. You can also search for pictures of people using the phone's search engine. However, the issue is that the phone doesn't recognize people. So if I search for pictures of myself, it's not going to show anything from the gallery even though I've got pictures of myself in there. So the phone doesn't know who I am. But we can fix that by going back into the gallery and then tapping on the search icon and assigning names to faces that are listed over here. So we can let the phone know that, hey, this face belongs to Charlie and we're going to save this. So now if we type in Charlie, it is also going to show my pictures because now the phone knows that this face belongs to Charlie. So you can go ahead and assign names to different faces in the gallery. So it becomes easier for you to search for a particular person. All right. So now let me show you how to unlock a bunch of hidden features in the gallery. So what you want to do is head on into the gallery settings and then scroll all the way down to about gallery. Now here repeatedly tap on the version until you see a message gallery labs is enabled. So this unlocks a secret menu which contains a lot of cool settings and features that were hidden from you. Now here you want to enable a feature called timeline in album. So once you enable this, whenever you open an album, so let's open the camera album, you'll notice that all your photos and videos are now grouped by date. So this is a side by side comparison and I think grouping by date is a good idea. Okay, so one more feature that you can enable in the gallery labs is show trash storage info. It's under one UI 2.x. So now the phone is going to show you the amount of used capacity in the trash whenever you delete something from the gallery. So this is kind of useful. Did you know that the Samsung Notes app allows you to collaborate with anyone who's got a Samsung smartphone? And this is going to allow two or more people to work on a same document. Let me show you how this works. Okay, so there are two ways to start a collaboration. You can either choose to collaborate with a note that you're already working on by tapping on these three dots and then selecting invite collaborators. Or you can go back to all notes, tap on the hamburger menu and then head on into shared notes. Here you can start a collaboration on a new note from scratch. You've got two options. You can either add people through their contacts or add their Samsung account or invite them to work on the note through a shared link. So let us select the link option and we will send this link over through WhatsApp onto this phone. 
which is a Galaxy Flip. So here's the link and once we tap on the link, it will automatically integrate itself into Samsung Notes. So check this out, if I type something on the Flip, it will automatically appear on the S24 Ultra. And it also works the other way around, so if I type something on the S24 Ultra, it will automatically appear on the Flip, as you can see. So that's how you can collaborate on a note. And you can add up to 9 participants from over here. So this is a feature that you must absolutely try on your Samsung smartphone. It's not just limited to the S24 Ultra, you can do this on pretty much any Samsung flagship. Now, if you've got a Galaxy Note or the S22, 23 or the 24 Ultra, you can sign PDF documents using the S Pen with the built-in Samsung Notes app. Let me show you how it's done. Alright, so open the Samsung Notes app and then tap on the PDF button. Now open the PDF file that you want to add your signature to. Once you open the file, tap here to open the drawing tools. Then select the color and the thickness of the pen and then go ahead and sign your document. And there you go. Once you are done, you can save the PDF as a file, then mail it. Or even better, you can print the document that you have just signed straight from Samsung Notes just like this. I absolutely love the wireless printing feature on this phone. It makes it so much easier to print documents. Now, speaking of wireless printing, you can also print photos directly from the gallery of your Samsung smartphone. All you have to do is open the photo that you want to print, then tap on these three dots and then select print. On this screen, first make sure that the correct printer is selected. It will automatically show up if the printer is connected to your wireless network. And just so you know, I did not install anything nor have I done any additional configuration on the phone. Everything just works and this is the HP Smart Tank 790. So I think any wireless printer should work. And lastly, select the number of copies, paper size, orientation, etc, etc. And to start printing, tap here. And as you can see, the printer will start printing the photo. And there you go. So printing photos or documents from your Samsung smartphone is actually super easy. Alright, so when you have an app open, swiping in from the top right corner of the screen switches the app into the pop-up view mode, which is also known as the multi-window mode. So this allows you to run apps in a window, and this is great for multitasking. And if you want to make the app run full screen, swipe back to the corner of the screen. So there you go. One more gesture that you can do is swipe up with two fingers from the bottom of the screen to open the split view mode and then select the second app that you want to run in the bottom half of the screen. That is awesome, right? Now these gestures are not enabled by default so you will have to head on into the settings, scroll down to advanced features, inside tap on multi window and enable swipe for split screen and swipe for pop-up view. Then go back into the advanced features, tap on labs and here enable multi-window for all apps. This will allow all of the apps on the phone to utilize the split or the multi-view mode. So imagine you are on a video call with someone, let's say on WhatsApp, and for privacy reasons, you want to blur or hide the background. Now the thing is, by itself, WhatsApp does not have a background blur feature, but your Samsung phone actually does. So when you're on a video call, drop down the notification panel and here, tap on video call effects. You'll see a menu pop up and from this menu select background. Then tap on blur if you just want to blur the background. So you can see on the other phone the background is blurred. So that's going to give you more privacy and then you can select a static color for your background or even select a custom image. So yeah, like I said, if you aren't comfortable showing your home, you can use this feature to get more privacy. And you've also got some additional controls like you can smoothen out the texture of your face or change the color tone of the outgoing video. And lastly, once again, if you drop down the notification panel on the top right corner, you've also got the option to have the mic focus only on your voice. 
so yeah, tons of features to play around with. Now, you can also configure the video call effects before you actually place the video call. All you have to do is head on into the settings and then scroll down to advanced features. Inside, you've got an option which says video call effects. And from here, you can pre-configure the video call background even before you place the video call. So that's going to be very useful. Okay, so you've taken a video which you want to share with your family and friends. But the problem is that whenever you try and share the video over apps like WhatsApp, you'll notice that the quality degrades substantially. Take a look at the pointy leaves, you can tell that the video is kind of blurry. Or if you select the HD option, you will not be able to send the entire video. So I think this is a huge limitation. Fortunately, to get around this limit, Samsung has included something called Quick Share Link Sharing. So in the gallery, open the video that you want to share and then tap on the Quick Share icon. On this screen, tap on Share using QR code and then copy the link that appears at the bottom of the screen. Now you can send the link to whoever you want to share the video with. So you can share the link with your family and friends over WhatsApp and they will be able to download the video in its original quality without any artificial limitations. So as you can see, it is the original 4K video. QuickShare also allows you to share files wirelessly with any nearby Android smartphone. So let's select some files and then hit the share button and select quick share and you'll see the other Android show up over here. And this allows us to share files seamlessly between any Android smartphone. So this is going to make sharing photos and videos with your family and friends really easy. And I can do the same from the Xperia onto my Samsung smartphone. So it works the exact same way. Now, if you don't see the other device visible in the share menu, you might want to go into the quick share settings and make sure that your phone is visible to other devices. You can also add important notes directly to your home screen. As you can see, we've got one right over here. And you can do this with notes that have been created in the Samsung Notes app, which is the default notes application on every Samsung smartphone. So what you want to do is pinch in on the home screen and head on into the widgets menu. Look for the Samsung Notes widgets and here you want to add the single note widget. So let's add this. And finally, pick the note that you want to add to the home screen. And that is it. Now we've got a note on the home screen. And you can also resize this if you want so that it fits properly. Now to make the note transparent, all you have to do is long press the widget, then go to its setting, switch off match with dark mode, select black and adjust the transparency. So yeah, that looks much better. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching and if you have enjoyed and found the video to be helpful, make sure to hit the like button, share the video with your family and friends and make sure to subscribe to the channel because I've got plenty of tutorials on Samsung devices, especially on the S24 Ultra. Alright, so this is Tech Guy Charlie signing off and I'll see you guys next week.